I-27, welcome back, everybody. There's a view from uh, outside our building there. Steph's uh, beautiful barbecue out there, which Valerie Powell has been smelling all morning long. Uh, but Valerie's here to talk uh, more about uh, Senior Safety Week from the uh, Canada Safety Council. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. This is a week-long uh, sort of event to help bring awareness to yeah. certain things when it comes to our seniors. Yes. And we're concerned about their safety. Yes. And one of the things that uh, pops in your mind when it comes to seniors is the, the driving and the ability to, right? Yes, yeah, that, and that's what we focused on this week is on seniors and, and driving. Yeah, it's one of those things, Valerie, and you know, and I, you know I, I've been driving since I was a teenager. You have probably done the same, and, <laughs> and you think about somebody who's in there late 60s, 70s, even into their 80s, they still want to be able to do that, right? Yeah, they want to be independent, you know, they've driven for their whole life, and when when does that come that point where they're not able to anymore? What, what prevents them from uh, being able to drive? Uh, oftentimes it's eyesight. Yes, it's eyesight, um, oftentimes medications. Yeah, they're not, yeah, they won't be able to drive anymore either. Um, just, they start to slow down, slow responses, and you need to have quick, fast responses when you're driving. Well, you think about, uh, you know, all the uh, the driving issues we have as uh, as adults uh, right now uh, when it comes to distractions on the road yeah. not having the physical nor uh, full mental capabilities to drive properly yeah. is certainly restrictive yeah it, it becomes very difficult and you know they might not see that that pedestrian that's going to be crossing the street or or another car they they just don't see them anymore, yeah. and that's when collisions happen I think uh, a lot of times one of the most difficult things for seniors is uh, you know uh, getting in and out of their own driveways and that sort of thing without incident because that requires a lot of turning a lot of awareness yes. uh, not just driving down a straight road yeah. so those are all issues that pop up the problem is You've been doing it for so long, and you're a yeah. proud person, exactly. and you don't want to let it go, right? Yeah, it, it's hard. It's difficult. So that's why, you know, uh, children can step in and try and have a conversation with them about, you know, how, how is your driving going? Maybe make some changes. Maybe they shouldn't be driving at night anymore, doing right. their errands during the day. Stay off the highways. Take roads that they're very comfortable with. Right, right. Along those lines, you have a course available for people, right? We do. It's a 55 Alive uh, Driver Improvement. Uh, program and anybody 55 or over can take it so children can take it with uh, their elderly parents and just to to prepare for the day that they won't be able to drive right. anymore 50 oh, wow 55 I'm not far off from that <laughs> something to think young, about yeah. though really if, if <laughs> you if your ability to do something that uh, you know that important yeah. well becomes diminished then why wouldn't you take the opportunity to not do it? Yeah, and it's the 55 Alive is, is great because it is, it is for driver improvement. So things that they can do until they get to the day that they shouldn't be driving right. anymore. Right, you know, and uh, let's face it, uh, once you get a license in this country, mm -hmm. you pretty well have it for life. Yes. But things change along the way. Yes. And it's not just for seniors either, but in, in certainly in that case, yeah. you get to a certain age, uh, things do change. Yeah. So maybe having, uh, you know, to take that course and to understand what's going on yep. really helps out and mm -hmm. it, you know it helps out uh, both the kids who are maybe trying to convince yeah, the parent it, not it, to it's, drive. It's a good thing to bring up hey let's take this together because it is a sensitive topic to mm. to bring up with your parents because they you know that's their independence that's what they they've been doing it their whole life. How do people find out more about um, uh, these issues and what what you do at the Canada Safety Council? They can go on our website and we do have um, we have all the information on 55 Alive uh, there and they can or they can give us a call and see where they're offered within their area. Yeah yeah and yeah. Uh, you know find out more about what the program has. Yeah to offer what it means and and go from there yes but I think you know you at some point you really got to let pride uh, kind of slide by the wayside and yeah I mean I don't know about you uh, <laughs> but when I get to that age and it's not far off for me let's face it <laughs> I have no trouble having someone drive me around to where I need that would to be go fantastic. matter of fact I don't want to be that guy mm -hmm. who shouldn't be driving and is yes right yeah because it's it's you know can be embarrassing and dangerous definitely dangerous yeah. yes okay well you've done your work uh, Valerie you're certainly uh, more than welcome to have some ribs or, I'd love some. or, or <laughs> some pulled pork you know unless Hopper have you left some at least Hopper